Hey, what's up, listeners? Just a reminder to check the description for any information mentioned in the episode. Also, contact the crew on Twitter at What's the Remedy, on IG at What's the Remedy Podcast, or email us at What's the Remedy Podcast at gmail.com with any questions, comments, concerns, or topics. And don't forget to give us five stars and leave a review on iTunes, SoundCloud, or YouTube. Now, let's get this show started. Do it expeditiously. Mr. Clark, <laughs> I like, I like with Mr. Myers, get the table with a note. When she said, Mr. Clark don't like you because you don't take care of your business. Yeah, like yeah you don't take care of your responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> praise I need, praise I need. Whoever. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Of the inside brings forth our loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty. So cheers to dear old Eastside High March. On March it. to victory. <laughs> all aboard. All aboard. All aboard. All aboard. Eastside High March. All you say you can't find it. I'm messing up, y'all. Get your ticket. Get your ticket, baby. Two for twenty. Eastside high. When the bills come in early. Girl, is the latest, and she's saying that she's down, but the crib always vacant. And you do a dollar's worth, but it's pennies that you're making, and you trying to be the greatest. You gotta get creative when you're from the side of town where the kids hardly take it. And you try to eat your mind, but the pigs always hating. And your freedom's on the line, and the years that you're facing, and you're trying to be the greatest. You gotta get hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's what's the remedy? It's your boy, Dr. J. They won. Ashley Ray. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This okay. is uh, was it was Wednesday when y'all hear this, but it's Tuesday. Yeah, so, I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. How was y'all weekend? It was, it was, uh, you know, it was nice. Yeah, delightful. <laughs> no, it was good. Uh, it, was it was good. good. It was very relaxing. That's good. No, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary happened this weekend. No, I'm I'm in the playoff mode right now. No rockets. And you know, rockets. They came back yesterday. That's how. Yeah. That's what I needed. And you know, tomorrow we're gonna get this win. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, this weekend we we'll, we'll just chill with we'll hung around in Midtown. Mm. You was in Midtown? Mm-hmm. On Saturday. What you doing in Midtown? Chill. With what? With what? What you mean? Okay. <laughs> Did you went to brunch or something? No, nah, uh, a couple of friends whenever I went to high school. We went all went to Midtown and went to like what, Oak Mountain. Oh, okay. Oh, you drinking? Yeah, drinking. I ain't drink. Hanging. You don't. You ain't drinking. I don't really drink like that. So you, what did you do this weekend? You just went to the Rockets game. Oh no, rock, no Rockets game this weekend. Oh, you went to the Rockets. Um, game. Went to what's that place called? Rico's Morning Burger in Midtown, over across the street. I've never heard of it. Uh, that burger's okay. Oh, I ain't never heard of it. So, and I did like me. get some, just you know, me time. Good. It's a lot of meditation. Yeah. You meditated? I, I did. Med- actually, meditated? So meditation, some libations. Libations. I, I do libations in meditation. You do? Libations. Lots of libations. <laughs> Lots of libations. What the hell is libations, y'all? Drink. Drinking. Oh. <laughs> Lots of libations with my meditation. Yeah. Alcoholic. Uh, nah. Alcoholic. Alcoholic. <laughs> That's not like alcoholic saying alcoholic. Alcoholic. Y'all some alcoholics. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no. I ain't do shit this weekend either. I, uh... Let me see. I got some work though, I guess. Yeah, what did I do? I went to like a baby shower and stuff. You know, like I said oh, before, I I, I'm old. This nigga. Yeah. Drinking at a baby shower. Hey, I, I, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time. I don't have a good time, not for a long time. How y'all feel about me and going to baby shower? Being at baby shower, should we be together or? Be I, like I mean, it depends day? on the. It depends on the baby shower, cause like if the person throwing it wants it to be co-ed, then I think men should be there for the co-ed baby shower. I don't think men like baby showers like that. Well, it depends on the baby shower. Because, like, I've been to co ed baby showers that look, were lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they had alcohol and stuff at them. Oh, but okay. then, like, you know, I've been to then women's they baby playing showers. Games. Like, y'all like them type of games? No. But, I mean, but, like, but, like it depends. Yeah, it's like so. the games that we play, and I, I never seen now these days men play them. But when I grew up, men were never there. And back in the day, wasn't, men weren't there. Now it's like a lot of stuff is joint now. Yeah. Like now, I mean, because like crazy now, it's joint because half the time y'all niggas don't be there at all through the baby life. But I'm here just you saying, go. here you go. Shit is this? <laughs> that's some bullshit. 
Anyway. That's what statistics. Statistics don't even say that. <laughs> that's what I say. That's what <laughs> women say. Because Who it'd be, the daddy? <laughs> it's a lot of good men out here. I just want to let everybody yeah, it know. Is. It's, it's men like us out here. Okay. That take care of kids. Right. And, it's like, uh, yeah, but it's, I mean, it's some niggas yeah. that are pretty fucked up too, but at the same time, we try to outweigh them. But yeah, no, I like I like Baby Shark, and then like they've changed a lot of the games to where like you know like the bottle game, where like you. Bottle. I don't yeah. know. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know Baby Shark. Been, you don't know Baby Shark games. Nah. Damn. I threw one Baby Shark on my knee. Well, okay, so there's like a bottle, right? Mm-hmm. Like a baby bottle. You buy a bunch of them. You put beer in them. That's what's up. And then like you see who can empty the bottle the fastest. Are so you, oh, you chugging the beer? Yeah, but mm-hmm. through a through yeah, a through nipple through the nipple like the bottle. Oh, the bottle. Like so that y'all should be real good at that. Y'all suck on titties a lot. So. But you don't get nothing out of them titties. You don't know that. Oh, y'all. Y'all be out here like, take. You I mean, y'all might mess with a woman that had kids, breastfeeding oh, and shit. I don't I know what y'all do. I ain't never, I ain't never tasted oh. lactate before. Why she doesn't, you don't taste this? <laughs> <laughs> quiet shit. I want to know. know. I know you got real quiet. I thought maybe. No, I think she's looking at something. It's good for the body, I think. I was like, what the hell? I think it might be good. It might be good for you, though. I mean, I feel like it's got nutrients and stuff in it, but I mean, I just ain't never. You know, tasted like like you know, milk coming from a woman's breast before. So, yeah. But anyway, in the game, you know, the men are supposed to see how fast they can drink the beer out of the bottle. So, um, okay, that seems like a cool game. So, I mean, yeah, they they have like changed some games up to where it's more inclusive of men. So it's cool to go to baby showers and stuff now. But yeah, that was. I'm still old school. Like I just want to be with my female female friends, friends and family. I can understand that, but you get more gifts making it co ed too. Oh, well, co ed it up then. Yeah, and that's one thing I was saying. Ashley Jr. going to need some shit. Ashley Jr. <laughs> I was saying Ashley Jr. Yeah. Oh, you going to call her Ashley Jr.? Yeah. Would the women name kids after themselves? I'm, like going, that? I'm going to. Like, like yeah. I feel like women do like maybe a variation of their name. No, her name will yeah. be Ashley Jr. Maybe you call her like call Ashton. Her AJ. Hell no. Nah. Ashton is a good white people name. You can get that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> good wholesome white people name right there. Hey, you ooh, like ooh, that ooh, name, ooh, what, ooh, don't ooh, you, boy? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yes, I do, sir. <laughs> you you, know you want her to get her application? Yeah, you want her to get a job? <laughs> I'm going to name her Ashley Jr. Bon, quick, quick. Yeah. We're going to call her AJ. Ashley Jr. I'm just playing, but whatever. Whatever. Her name going to be something you can start Ashley Jr. No, I'm, I'm saying my, freedom because I've been searching it for all my life. Sounds oh, like some wow. different shit. Stay woke, nigga. Yeah, it does really sound like some hotel <laughs> shit. Some hotel <laughs> shit. <laughs> but like, I I think I do want. I mean, and I I don't mean it as being white people names, mm-hmm. but I do kind of want to have my kid have a name like that, like some something like uh, what's a what's a good Karen at the job name of hood no, baby no. Dallas. <laughs> yeah, you got to give him like a state name. Like Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. 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 Wyoming Johnson. <laughs> That's what they name the white kids. They be having like, Wyoming? They be having like, sound like no white name. Wyoming. You don't know no black people. That's why it's a white name. You don't know no black. No ethnic person could be named Wyoming. Hey. Daytona. Yeah, Daytona. Yeah. Dakota. Always that's, like that's a great one. Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. What the fuck? No, it's, a good white mean, girl. it's a good white girl name. Right? Yeah. Your child named Dakota. Or, or, or like a little a little boy look they get like a lot of cowboy stuff. So cowboy. Y'all have a problem, or like or like a last name as a first name. Names, y'all have a problem with ethnic names. No, I think society does. Yeah, I don't have a problem with any name, but I just think that it's funny hearing like state names and uh, city names, and then like last names as first names. I think that's kind of crazy too. Rayon, I should just ooh, I should just put my last name. And get that is name. a good. I don't like it. I like my last name, but I don't want my son or like. I mean, I know some people that do that, and it's yeah, it it's kind of cool. nice like, and it's like a tradition for them. Like, they're uh, the since they had all girls in their family, mm. so like the girls' firstborn son would have the last name, the main, main, main last, name, yeah, the main name, like son name, but yeah. son's name, and so it, so that name carries on even though they didn't have any boys in the family or mm. them. I thought the that was pretty cool. I mean, there's people named Gaylord. Yeah, Gaylord. They just call him Greg. Gaylord, Galen. Yeah. Gay. Make it's it a gay. variation. Make it a variation. Or make a gay. Gay, come here. No, you just, they probably call them by their middle name or their oh nickname. Yeah. But say G. Hey, <laughs> call G. G. Hey, G. You'll be called G. G for the rest yeah. of your life. <laughs> They'll be like, what G stand for? I don't even worry yeah, about it, bro. Right. 
gay. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, the weekend was good, everybody was cool, everybody chilling. That's good. Um so, that, that's what I really need to do. That's why I'm trying to avoid going places because I just I ain't got the money to spend no more. Yeah. And I uh it's a whole long story. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> We're gonna jump right into the main uh Topic today. Check yourself. Because we, we, we want to check yourself real quick. So the check yourself segment is more or less about this movie come Sunday. that came on Netflix. I, if y'all listened last week, I kind of said, you know, make sure you try to check it out because we're going to talk about it this week. If you haven't seen it, you can probably still listen to the conversation because it's a known story. Like it's a, it's a true story. It already happened. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, it's based off of uh, what's the bishop name? Carlton Pearson. Pearson. Yeah. yeah, Carlton go Pearson. YouTube, you know. Well, actually, you know, so Carlton Pearson started Azusa, which is like this big black uh, ministers conference, and like all these people used to go to it. It was a big mega church thing. Okay. And he started it, and Man. that's where like TD Jakes came from, and uh, Joy, Joyce oh, Myers. He looks so familiar. Yeah, like he he started all of that, and so TD Jakes and all them got they start like they got big from that. Okay. And so Dang. that's who he so is. He's been in the business. Yeah, from like the early, this is the early '90s stuff. Mm-hmm. And so he was a big mega church preacher, uh, and and so this is kind of what goes on in the movie. So he's a big mega church preacher. He, you know, and when you have a mega church, like you have a whole team behind you, publicists and all that kind of stuff. And so he gets up one Sunday and he he tells them that he was watching TV the night before and. He saw these little Somalian kids dying. Like it was a famine over there, and all the parents were dying, kids were dying, everybody's dying. And he thought to himself, <clears throat> "They never really had a chance to like hear the word and hear the gospel except and Christ. accept Christ." Yeah. yeah. So technically, if we go by Christian standards, they go straight to hell. Yeah, not saved. They're not saved, so they're going to hell. Mm-hmm. And he said that he just kind of refused to believe that. So. He started doing more research, and his, as he looked at the Bible, he said God kind of revealed to him that maybe people aren't just going to hell because they don't know Jesus. Maybe they, you know, maybe Jesus saved everybody, and so everybody gets a chance to go to hell. So my question to y'all is, before we even get any deeper into the movie, how do you feel about that message? Do you feel like people go to hell? Yes. Why? You mean to tell me like murderers and they're going to heaven? Where did they go? I don't, I don't know. And the, and like the reason the, I want to ask y'all too is because y'all came up Catholic. And don't Catholic do like purgatory and stuff like that? I don't ever know yeah. about purgatory. I, and I still believe in that too. I don't know what purgatory yeah. is. So that's I why I was going to ask y'all. It's the lowest waiting room. Yeah. I feel like it's some, some of my folks. And I might go to purgatory. So what, what is purgatory? I, that's what I want to know. It's the waiting room well, to like, make the decision. Well, like, you know, they say like, like judgment day with it, right? Yeah. They, they said... Uh, what, who is it uh, gonna be reading your your, your life story or whatever? Is it, uh, is it Peter? 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 I think Peter. I think because they say Peter is at the gates, right? Peter yeah, gates, Peter. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, basically gonna read you your your life, or whatever, tell you what you did wrong, whatever. Right? Basically, kind of purgatory. It's kind of explained. It's just a waiting period yeah. for you to get to that point mm-hmm. where you either get your interest into the gate to get. Drunk. I think it's a movie called Judgment. Like, you ever what? It's like in the eighties or nineties. It's mm-hmm. really good. Kind of like they were in purgatory, waiting to see if they'll go to heaven or go back to the other earth or something. So, because like, and that, and I asked y'all because like that's something that you really just learned in the Catholic religion. Well, my daddy because, told me there was a hell before he was dying. Well, yeah, no, I mean, I understand hell. I'm just talking about purgatory. Oh, purgatory, yeah. Purgatory Cause isn't talked about everybody. We pray for the dead. Like we, you put like I remember my dad passed. Like my grandma and all them. You sign. You you give the the priest something they say pray for before y'all say communion, right? Because it's been a minute since I've been to Catholic Church. <laughs> I mean, I go every once in a while. I've been to me. But they, they pray and say the name of the person and you praying for them. Like I said, yeah, pray y'all for my light dad. them like candles and stuff too, huh? But like, this is not Catholic. Everybody likes candles. No, but y'all and have pray? like the little altar where you can go in and light a candle and pray for people. Don't y'all do that? I pray for I used to pray for everything on that candle. Yeah, but we have we have Yeah, this is a prayer. Yeah, I was gonna say like we, we I used to pray I like, get no Baptist, whoop before I left. In the Baptist church, we don't have like the candles set up or nothing like that. So like that's different for us. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, I don't even real okay. Do they even kneel at a Baptist church? Sometimes. 
No, Baptist churches, we, well, they kneel sometimes. But like, I just noticed, you know, I go to non-denomination. It's not the same. You're right. right. Okay, because okay. Baptist church, we weren't, I mean, people kneel just because, like, the deacons would kneel when they pray. And but, that's the, it. The, but the people don't. Don't. Like, yeah. At all. We, and that's the thing. Like, I went to a Catholic church one time, and oh, I went for a wedding. And, like, oh, I went with, like, long, one of my Hispanic homeboys. Yeah, because we keep like we keep you taking meals yeah. and standing up and like that. But I like that. It's like exercise. I like to kneel and pray. Yeah, because y'all have the little kneeling things. Like they yeah, don't have I them like things on the beach. I like to kneel and pray us. regardless. I like to give God reverence. Oh Lord, y'all getting now? I'm getting too deep. <laughs> I'm still a thug, but yeah, I like to give. I miss that a little bit. I miss a lot of stuff with Catholic Church, but also I'm not. With big on religion, but yeah, and and the Catholic Church, y'all really like harp on the kneeling thing because y'all have the little kneeling bars on the on the chair on the pews. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, like I, when I came, I was like twenty some years old when I saw that for the first time. Well, no, mm-hmm. I seen them once when I was really little, but like in, when I came to that church and like you had to fold the thing down and put your knees on. I was like, Nigga, what you is this? Kneel on that marble floor. They probably got on. There. I didn't know you had to kneel that much. No. So <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. We got about kneeling. No, yeah, we, 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 we kneel maybe two times, two three times. Not for weddings. Not weddings. Like, weddings. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. They like big. Yeah, big because you're going to be doing the rosary. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. But I'm so used to kneeling. So yeah. I don't yeah, but that mass, you know, and that mass, it's two, 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 two to three times. Yeah, but if you can't, I mean, old people can't do it. Oh, yeah, no, I know people don't kneel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I didn't realize that there was so much. I mean, because I'm the thing is, no, because in a Baptist church, you pray a lot, but you don't have to kneel, so you don't notice it as much. So like yeah, that's what I was about to say. Y'all pray. We Y'all pray be a having lot. a long, and I be it's opening long. my eyes sometimes. Like hey, everybody still, everybody still bad. All right. Yeah. Years ago, my grandma <laughs> tried to be like, okay. And y'all have the eight the, the disease, uh, selection from the choir. Man, mm-hmm. I love it. It's like a show up in there. Oh yeah. My church is like a show, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes yeah. Down. yeah y'all do the two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. I don't say you're not. I ain't gonna church. Church. Five minutes. Church but I like, late. I like when he was like, we just got the spirit in here. We just gonna keep it with the spirit. He don't even. Preach. That's real. I used to like that too when I was younger. That means I, I used you want to hate, keep that in there. I used to hate preaching because it was so boring to me. Like mm-hmm. I'd be like, I hate it. And the thing is, like everybody thought I was gonna be a preacher, and I was like, I, I hate, can see I that. hate preaching. God, I can see I don't you know. come up. I, I work so hard. I make it the handkerchief. I got handkerchiefs <laughs> in my drawer right now. Yeah. I, I used to. As a I was at I was at a wedding one day and I had some in my pocket because I was like, I, you know, you be sweating in the mm-hmm. wedding because you got that suit on the whole time. So I be yeah. like, I had to dab it with the dab with the preacher. Yeah, damn, tell me about ain't ain't good, ain't good, glory, glory. Thank you, sister. Can I can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah, glory. So you could have been the deacon. I got it's you. It's a it's a pleasure to see everybody. Yeah, for real. I got you, Pastor. I got you. I'm trying to be a first lady, but I'm too I'm too ratchet and righteous. Yeah. <laughs> There's some ratchet first ladies out oh, there. Yeah. Nah, I don't want to be no first lady. Oh, knock them. Nah, I'm good. I've seen first ladies that be like that too. But I'm good. anyway, like back to the subject. Like so, basically, he had this major church or whatever. So my my thing was, I kind of feel what he's saying. Because, you know, everybody has a different view of the afterlife. Because, like I said, nobody else really teaches purgatory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy to me, like, that there's a whole religion that is connected to the other religion that teaches something different about the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then again, when I was younger, I would ask questions like that, which is why, that I mean, too. like, I, I guess that's kind of why, you know, people thought, well, maybe, you know, I was trying to be a preacher or something. Because I would ask questions because I was like, this doesn't make sense to know. me. you want to know. Right. Because, yeah. okay, you said... I have to accept Christ so I can go to heaven. But what about the people that don't even get to go to church or like nobody's right. there to tell you, hey, you know about Jesus Christ? And 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 the, the answer that I got for that was, oh, well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get out to those people that didn't hear. I'm like, but, but you're not going to go to everybody. Like, right? I was like, before you're not we get there, like, and even before we get there, like, let's say we go into the, the middle of some third world country. Now, in the time it takes us to get on a flight just to go uh-huh. over there, somebody's going to die. So even that person here, that died. But you even here, like, a lot of people, I have friends that ain't never went to church before. But like I say, but then you also have the skepticism, like I say, the deal, you really come in. Uh, the, same, yeah. the same people that brought you Jesus brought you slavery. I'm so. just saying, I believe that too. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know. So, it's, so it's it's hard to it's hard to get because I mean the people that that brought those people that brought us slavery the people that brought Christianity to them look more like us because Christianity comes from that part of the world yeah so like Christianity okay, comes from you know 
Middle East, Northern but, Africa, that kind of area. Being Catholic, but, I don't think so. But but then you got look at the like, Romans too. took over a lot. Yeah, of they were very yeah. crooked. But, yeah, but then I so say you look at like this, like how through the years and how different places where you're at, stuff is misconstrued and kind of engineered to work. Like say for slavery, it was taught all the parts in the Bible about being serving obedient. your master and being obedient yep. was a, was taught to the slaves, and they were not taught. You know, what I'm saying the other parts of it. Right. right, like that, and there's whole they knew parts. The part to, it, it's yeah, the it was Bible like to speak about yeah. to the slaves. Yeah, it was like about their interpretation. They and they made sure to put the interpretation out there that oh, this is what y'all are supposed to be doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so I mean, like I said, this this is gonna get into like more of a in depth conversation just as far as the Bible and stuff overall. Mm-hmm. But I want us to just focus on just hell itself. So you believe there's a hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you believe that, you know, that's where murderers, people like that go. Like, these are terrible people, right? Mm-hmm. See, the, the issue with that is that, you know, there's scripture in the Bible that says that no sin is greater than another. So if a murderer is going to hell, then a liar is going to hell. So the Ten Commandments, basically, I have a question about that, too. Go ahead. Yeah. So the Ten Commandments, so I kill someone. Mm-hmm. As long as I apologize, say, I'm sorry for killing them, I can go to heaven. That's what it's saying. Yeah, you repent for your sins. You repent. Okay, I repent. So, hmm. like you ha- and repenting doesn't mean like I I did something my fault and I go back and do it again. Like that's not really. If I right. repent, then a lot of people like okay. Right, that's what I'm saying. So that's not really being repent. Repent means that I understand what I did wrong. I think Timothy McVeigh, that's his name. Mm-hmm. So he went to hell. Yeah. People like, and I, I feel like he, he like said that he did. do not repent for nothing he did with Oklahoma City bombing. Right, he, so he, he went to hell. To me, to me, that's how I feel yeah. too. I mean, then you have the issue of people that commit suicide because you have I no think chance they went to, to hell too. because you have no chance to. Ask there's a, I was Why would say, you there's a big argument yourself? for that too. God created you, and I know you got, a lot, but you got to fight a lot. I ain't never. Mm. Which which raises a, a crazy question with that because. Like you commit suicide, whatever they say, you going to hell. You don't because you don't have a chance to ask for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Catholics really but, do believe in it. They, yeah, they, they won't have no, yeah, yeah, but, they but, will not do a funeral. But, but then that's the crazy suicide. part about it. Like in the law, or whatever, like we um, do the death penalty in some states. Yeah. Like so, you're taking somebody's life, whatever. I don't, you know who, who, I don't believe in the death penalty. But that's what I'm, talking, don't, that's I mean, what I'm talking about. Like I'm saying, that's like, how I grew up. We don't. Yeah, believe we don't it. believe in the death penalty. But the same people, like. I mean, like, they committed murders or whatever the case may be, but they sent us to death. And you kind of like, who gave you the power to take right. somebody's life? I, that's why I don't believe in it. Even though, like, what's that, what's that boy name he shot up that church? Like, I just think uh, people that was doing, doing the shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't think taking his life is going to make anything better. Like, no. I, think, I think the worst thing you can do to somebody is let them rot in jail. Yeah. Okay, so I have this question. So we talked about, you know, committing suicide. You think them people go to hell because they, they basically have no chance to repent for the sin that they're committing against yeah. themselves. Let's say that somebody is on their way home from cheating and, uh, he can, he and they get in a car accident and they don't have a chance to repent. They going to hell too? I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm just asking, like, from your... Because this is all about I, a belief. Because it's not really question. any... There's no hard evidence to tell us either way because nobody knows what happens after you die. And you don't know if people that commit suicide going to hell. We don't know. That's what I'm saying. But we don't know. But if, if that's what your belief is, that's what your belief is. Because we're just discussing beliefs today because nobody knows what really happens. I mean, people say they went to, they died and came back to life and all. So, I mean, but we, nobody really knows what happened. So he just believes like there's not, like everybody's going to heaven, even we're bad, good, or whatever. You're just going to heaven. That, so everything I've been doing. Like trying to be right and follow this straight and narrow was bullshit, and I should have been out and here smoking cocaine. Smoking cocaine. Whatever. That's, that's not smoking. You, no, you, no, you can smoke. You it, can baby, smoke it, but you want some real <laughs> shit. That's, that's yeah. smoking co- Okay, that's how I'm talking about smoking shit. cocaine. Let me get my words right. Smoking, smoking cocaine. Okay. Smoking. You're talking you the know, real shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> out here. <laughs> I hear, you know, trying to think of some ratchet shit that I mean, okay, robbing so, banks and shit. Okay, so there's one I'm part of the movie. To heaven. There's one part of the movie where he goes before like the bishop, the archbishops, and everything. And yeah, I ain't like was, this. I mean, Woo, the, I like the thing is, and and I and I don't want this to come off like I'm against the church, but mm-hmm. like, <laughs> oh, but I'm our- there's this thing about the church where like they. 
I, I would rather them explain things to you. And some people do. So I'm not, that's why I say, I'm not going to say I'm against the church because some people actually take the time to be like, oh, okay, let's sit down and have a conversation mm-hmm. about it. But like other people be like, that's against what we said. Get the hell I out of here. You so. Yeah. Did it look like that? But I mean, okay, so when he went before the archbishop, he said that, and he made a decent point. I'm not going to say he was completely right, but his point was decent. About his daddy. About yeah. his daddy. He's like, you, you love your daddy. If you love somebody, Why would you? you don't want something terrible to happen to them. Yeah. If you could pray, he said, if you can get him out, get him to go to heaven, wouldn't you do that? Yeah, well, if, you, if you could get him out of hell, hell would you? Yeah, yeah he, when he's talking about, no, my daddy deserved to go to hell. Yeah. I was like, damn. I mean, and then. And, then that's, and you that's a the bishop? Outside. That's all I'm like, these niggas are crazy. And that's, that's kind of my thing is like, okay. But they I'm still ask, human too. I'm going to ask y'all the same Christians question. Christians doesn't mean they're right. I'm going to ask y'all the same question. And this you can choose not to answer, but. Is there somebody in your life that you believe would go to hell or did go to hell or whatever? Like the die. I ain't never anything. thought about nothing like that. I haven't either, really. But that, when, I, when I saw the movie, it made me but think I about pray, that. I pray a lot. And like you say, have you, you heard of stories about some, some people close to you in your family or whatever? Like, I've had somebody say they would dream the fire and stuff before they died mm-hmm. and stuff. It doesn't necessarily mean they went to hell. Yeah. It could mean just mean like, hey, you better get your life right before you go. This is what it's like. And that's that's the other question. Okay, so I don't know if y'all remember this show. It used to come on like in the, I guess it was the late nineties. Mm-hmm. Touched by an angel. Yeah, with yeah. Uh, Del Reese. Yeah, with Del Reese. I ain't never watched it. I thought it was a lame movie show. I bet yeah. you did. I'm touched by him. Yeah. I'm just playing y'all. You're a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My angel, you know, she's sitting over there chilling, drinking. Yeah, no, nah, I but, put her through a lot. Okay, so on Touched by an Angel, like every time somebody got ready to die, like the angels would come around and talk uh, to them, and then like they would they would like try to give their life to Christ right before they died, like yeah. as they were in dying. the show. They had in the show, this wow. how the show went. And so watching. you wouldn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 thing is, that's another like belief that people have is that, that like maybe maybe it's that right before you die, you have a chance to go ahead and repent. I think mm-hmm. everybody get a little bit nicer when before they die. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you have that opportunity to kind of repent for those sins or whatever. And so, like maybe even even people that are like commit suicide. Let's say suicide is the one. Because because you never know how time goes. Yeah, and I say because people know that like your body takes time to die, like mm-hmm. biologically. Mm-hmm. Like you gonna get hit. I mean, of course they say you die instantly, but you know your body processes have to have time to shut off. Mm-hmm. So, who's to say that, like, your conscious or your soul, because if we're believing in the soul, we believe that there's something outside of just the body. Mm-hmm. Who's to say that your soul doesn't have a chance to be like, you know I'm what, sorry, I'm sorry, I, I messed You're up, right. and I get a chance to repent before I go. And so, like, if everybody's granted the opportunity, how many people are going to be like, nah, man, I'm good, send me to hell, my nigga. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then, then you got to think about, like, this, like, how many people went through certain procedures and stuff like that, like heart attacks, whatever the case may be, something happened to them. And when they be like, oh, they died, he was dead for like one minute or so like that, and it came right. out like, you know what I'm saying? And people like, well, I had a conversation or whatever the case may be. Like you say, you never know in that instance when you supposedly about to die, you die, whatever, that you don't have a conversation with somebody telling you, yeah, this ain't your time yet, or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Do you want to repent your sins? Okay, so if you have, have you ever had like a, what is it? Um, got in a bad car accident and your life flash before your eyes, whatever they say. Yeah. Something like that. Y'all mm-hmm. had that before? Mm-hmm. I ain't never had that I've, shit. Yeah, well, like, I've never had that. I've had a lot of, like, mm-hmm. times where I felt like I was, you know. Really? I mean, because I've, I've had times where I came close to death. Like, I've been, been in a couple of car oh, accidents. I've been in a couple you know, of them, too, and y'all, I've never had that. Every, Man. Every, like, on, I just on, met on, one that's you. On, only one I can think of is, like, uh, I was in a car accident and it was, like, Right before the accident happened, everything slowed down. Mm-hmm. See, so, I ain't never. I must cause, got a lot of shit in my mind. Like, cause like it was coming, we was coming to like a four way stop. It was like it was in high school. We was coming to a four way stop, and my homegirl was driving. She was driving through it pretty much, and we could see. We used to like, hey man, you tripping? Blah blah. Slow down, whatever the case may be. And it was like four or five of us in the car, and we could see. I was in the back seat, and we could I could see the other car coming mm-hmm. up from the other side. It was like everything slowed down to the point where it hit us. Mm. It's like it's like it's like it's almost like, like time stop. That, that's kind of how it was when I got hit by that Maybe truck. Like because uh, I spun out 
on 290. Mm -hmm. And like my car was spinning because I had hydroplane. Mm -hmm. And so I just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. And then like my car finally slowed down and came to a stop. It felt like a whole lot of time passed because I see a truck yeah. coming. Oh, and I'm wow. like, and that's why I was so mad after the accident, after mm -hmm. I realized I survived it because they hit me, they T-boned me right there. But like after I realized I survived, I was like, dog, that truck had more than enough time to stop, my mm -hmm. nigga. <laughs> like, yeah. cause, cause I saw it in like time, like you said, time like completely stood still. Cause I'm like sitting there watching the truck come at me, and I'm like, dog, and I can't do nothing. Yeah, it looks like that. You can and do. I'm it's just like sitting there phone. watching. I'm like, dog, they been the, and so they ripped my car in half. And yeah. I'm like, dog, that truck could have stopped. They didn't even slow down. But I mean, apparently it happened a lot faster than what I thought it did. Yeah. But like at that moment, everything think, slowed down. But I didn't think about like I didn't see my life flash like. I bit. I got in a wreck in two, uh, 290 before a drunk driver hit me, and then I just got in a wreck a couple months ago, 45, and I got hit and run. And I ain't think about shit. It's like I, but you know I closed my eyes, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I didn't close my eyes yeah, that time. Yeah, I was up the mind. I was trying to keep control of the car. I thought I, I was gonna be able to get my way out of it. I think I did close my. It happened so fast. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so either way, like I, I think that that's another thing that people may think about. Like just as they as they think about hell and all that kind of stuff, it's like maybe at that moment right before you die, maybe you have an opportunity to have some repentance or something like that. But like I said, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like I'm saying you never know. Like you see yourself and against an accident, like you're gonna die, and then next thing, like I said, an angel somebody pop up like, "Hey, what's going on?" He like, "Yeah, who the hell are you?" Yeah. And then it was like, "Yeah, you're you know what I'm saying yeah, that's you right there." And you kind of have like the out of body experience people be talking about. Oh, okay. I'm so. so the yeah. Lord yeah. knows. But, but then, like I said, I never had this conversation like to think about it like that was for suicide is concerned. But it makes me feel a certain way about it. Like, hey. But I do, yeah. um, I know I pray for a lot of my family that's deceased. Yeah. But because, like I said, when my, when my grandfather passed, that makes you think like there's an other side. Because mm -hmm. he was uh, in a hospital room. I mean, like my mom was in the room, whatever. And he was talking. But he wasn't talking to her. He, he was, was talking, talking to people that was already done. My, my dad was doing that too. Yeah. And I was like, who are you talking to? And he kept calling my grandma's name and having a full conversation. I was like, nah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it, and the thing is, nobody will ever know. Like, no. not for sure. Not until you go. Like, not until you go. But he did tell my mama. He didn't tell me. He was like, there is a hell. My dad yeah. told my mama. Like, he would never want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. No, no, he ain't going. I mean, and like I said, when you get close to the end, I'm sure a lot of those thoughts go through your head. And and sometimes, like, the reason, other reason I want to have the conversation is because some people actually believe that, like, all of this is, like, something that people make up to make themselves feel better. Mm -hmm. Probably so. Some so, people say, this is hell. We're living in hell right yeah, now. Yeah, hell on earth. You yeah. know? Or I've heard that, you know, hell is what happens to you after you do something that you're not supposed to do. So let's say, like, let's say you do cheat. Mm -hmm. Let's say you cheat on somebody and then your family falls apart and then, you know, you lose, you know, you lose your kids and all this stuff happens like that. That could be counted as part of your hell. Mm -hmm. And they don't know if that's like, that's the hell that everybody's worried about. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you do something, you sin, you do something against, you know, your own moral beliefs or any beliefs in general and then bad things happen to you. So that's hell. Or is it that, Nothing bad ever happens because then the other argument people have is okay, this person does shitload of bad stuff and, and they live in a great, great life. life. But then again, mm -hmm. you don't know what the hell well, is you, for that person. Well, and that's, and that's the same thing. You don't know what the hell is for that person, and you never know if that person is just doing what they're doing for the time, and then they tap and get pulled. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I mean, they might be living a great life, and then like they they hit you know sixty. And you know they they shitting on themselves when they walk down the street. You know, what I'm yeah. they're like they're like, what the hell is going on with my body? Like you, yeah, you know, body shut down. Something happens to you, man. Yeah, you, know, you live a good fifteen, ten years of your life. Live the big time. Yeah, you you had a great time for fifteen years, and now the the next thirty years of your life are gonna be terrible. Yeah, you gotta pay the piper. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's you know, some people call it karma. Some people call it the devil. The devil. I mean, it's everything. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's just. I don't know. Like this, I'm gonna play y'all a little excerpt real quick because. What you playing? Uh, Notorious B.I.G. Okay. He rapping. You know what the fuck is wrong with you? 
with you. When I die, fuck it, I wanna go to hell. Cause I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell. It don't make sense going to heaven with the goody goodies dressed in white. I like black Tims and black hoodies. So, like my whole thing about Biggie is he <laughs> hit it's just a rap, y'all, like a poem. I don't think he meant like it's just a rap. It's a poem. It's a, it's a poem. But but this is my thing though. It's a poem. You put it out there. A lot of people say you speak shit into existence. True. And I, I mean, telling people go to hell for a long time. And it, but it's they like, but it's like we just said. <laughs> like, what if somebody was just had that feeling at the end, and they were like, you know what? I don't think heaven is what... And the thing is, and the other problem with this is, and we have to explore that belief what as well. What if there's no heaven? No, not that there's no heaven, but the idea of heaven that we've been taught when we were younger. Because I'm like, like, when I was in church, what you were taught about heaven is, oh, it's going to be Sunday every day. And you're Hell like, nigga, no. nigga, I hang going to church. <laughs> like, oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Like, like, like when, I, when I was little, that's how I felt. I was like, <laughs> really, I got to sit through this every day for eternity? Are you serious, my nigga? Like, I do not want to be in here for eternity. Like, you're not going to love it. You're going to be in church every day for eternity. Sunday school, 24-7. Like, nigga, hell no. <laughs> Who wants to be in here for every day? And so, like, if we have that image of heaven, then, of course, you get an idea, like, what he's saying is, I want to go to hell because that's where all the people that like to chill going to be at, like, the people in church. I don't yeah. want to be around that forever. That's where my real niggas at. Yeah, like, the real niggas going to be at hell. Only niggas. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like y'all niggas. That's yeah, where my niggas going to be. On my real niggas in hell. That's what I'm saying. I know so, like, I'm wrong for saying I don't want every day to be like Sunday, but... I'm thinking brunch is cool. I'm mimosas. <laughs> like, See, and I don't mimosas? think that that's what they mean. Unlimited. Uh-huh. They, my, my heaven may be different from yours. And that's what I'm saying. So, like, so like that's why I say I you have to take... I get to watch the NBA sports all day. Get you have to it. take what he's saying to the extent that, well, I mean... When we learned heaven growing up, heaven wasn't exactly a, a I thought a it was the golden gates with the, the gold streets and I'm wearing white. Yeah, but then going to church every day. I ain't nobody ever told me my heaven was going to be like that. But you grew saying, up different. It's in the Bible says every day is going to be Sunday. No, 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 no. That's not how my mama said my heaven was going to be. She said, whatever you want, you going to have. So it was like, I thought about ice cream. And See, and then every, that's what I'm saying. Everybody but gets a different, different now. interpretation. Now I'm thinking like... Do you really think, how do you think heaven is now that you're older? How do, now that I'm older? Yeah. I believe that it's as much like here, but it's going to be more um, more like what here was supposed to be before all of the sin. You think we're going to be getting along? Like, for real? Because if, like, if, huh? if it weren't for sin, we would all get along. So sin was brought in to the earth. And when sin got brought in, that's when everything kind of got thrown off. I want to sit down and talk to Eve. I mean, I don't think she's gonna be in heaven. Right? The other thing is, I don't think the the, the other thing <laughs> is. So it's not this shit. Right? <laughs> the other thing is, I don't think everything in the Bible is taken literally, and I've I've gotten into arguments with people over oh, there yeah. too. Man, like Adam and Eve being literally one person, like one person named Adam, one person named Eve. Mm -hmm. Did they, they have sex with their kids to get more yeah, people? I'm had, just saying. I'm just asking. I mean, it's that next question. And then you talking about this nasty now, but they look like they was doing it back then. And then David had a whole bunch of wives. So was he a hoe? Y'all said he was a hoe for messing with that other lady and her husband, the husband's wife. But he had a whole bunch of wives. And then Abraham got the. I'm just saying. I know the Bible a little what bit. It's a little hood Bible though with me, but. Then That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's a lot in the Bible that you got to take with like a grain of salt in today's society. But I just, Sarah was 80 some years old. She had a baby. You think I want to be 80 years old and have a baby? Like, what the fuck? Methuselah, <laughs> Methuselah lived to 900. So, like, it's, it's a lot of stuff that? in the Bible. <laughs> God <laughs> have mercy. God. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is Methuselah? I just like that name. But yeah, so, child, okay, that's wrong. But like, okay, so like, but there's a lot in the Bible that you can't take so literally, and so I feel like I feel like heaven and hell are almost in that same kind of boat to yeah. where you can't be like, when you die, you go straight up and go to heaven through the skies that you're looking at right now, and that's heaven. And if you go to hell, you're going to go through the earth's crust 
to the heaven to hell below going, you. Going down to the core, baby. Yeah, going down to the core because that's where the fire is. Well, no, fire like is. I don't. I don't think it's that literal. Yeah. And so people yeah. take it very literally, though. And then Jesus ain't never had nobody. He ain't have no girlfriend or nothing. Well, he, well, but you got to think about all the years, though. From what he was twelve in the uh, yeah in the church, whatever, and then he, he was jumped for thirty three. He jumped him being thirty three. That's what the book wants you to do. We don't know what he did between them. Right. That's what I'm that's talking what about. That's, that's lost years oh, okay. that, that nobody they don't knows. They want to talk about his hoeish ways, though, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not. So now you're saying well. Jesus had a whole phase? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> oh, <Hey>. No. <laughs> Everybody I didn't say that, Jesus. Face. I didn't say that, but we don't know. Nigga, that's Sit down be, and talk to us, Lord. That's going to be the title of the episode. Jesus had a whole face. Y'all said from 12 to 30, so we don't <laughs> know what that nigga was doing. All right, don't put that on there. I don't, don't put that on there. <laughs> y'all, don't, y'all said from 12 to 30, so we don't know what that nigga doing. And the whole face do be around 20s. So I'm just saying. Mm. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not saying he did or didn't. There, 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 there's, there's books and stuff and writings, whatever, like what he did. So he was messing with Mary Magdalene. They said he had wives and he had a wife and everything else. I did see a movie that they they tried to. I didn't like that. I didn't like that either. No, we probably. What's your favorite Bible story? No, I like talking about the Bible. See, we, we we get a little off though so, because we gotta My have a, we gotta have a show specifically about the Bible because like yeah. that's gonna take a lot. Okay. Because I like I like a lot of stuff in the Bible though. Like it's just oh, cool a lot stuff. of stories. It's a lot of stories and it's a lot of stuff that, you know, I don't know if it got left out or what. You know, it's some, like you said, we skipped a whole 20 years with Jesus that yeah. we don't know what happened. Them disciples was the, the truth. Some of them. I can relate. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I like Paul and stuff. So, you but know, anyway. Like but yeah. yeah so, yeah, cause I want to, we got to do that because I want to get on the, uh, the upside down cross thing. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. You know, you know how that's like a lot of people like that's demonic. That's demonic. But, yeah. yeah. But it's really not. It's not yeah. yeah. A, you a, see how people lie? Yeah, it's a sign of humility, which yeah. which, which makes it really stupid that a lot of the kids that portray or whatever think it's like, oh, they, they like say, it, it doesn't mean demonic, but they do demonic kind of type mm-hmm. of things, whatever. But it's a, it's a sign of humility. So, yeah. but the bottom line is okay, because even with the kids that do like the whole satanic rituals and stuff like that, like mm-hmm. depending on your idea of hell, like because even like if you look at like the satanic church, like it's it's weird looking. Like it's, mm-hmm. It goes off the image of what everybody thinks hell, hell is supposed is. to be, mm-hmm. and like I, I really think me personally, and this is just my own personal thoughts. I really think that we just take everything too literal from that, because and that's where we get in these disputes about hell and oh, you you gonna send this person to hell? They going to hell? You going to hell? Like I think we've we've gotten to the point, and and this is what I was what else I was gonna say about the church. And I, like I said, I don't want to be Thank looked God. at as being against the church, but I think the church likes to have that hold on people. Of course. To where they're like, you gotta pay your tithes. If you don't pay your tithes, you going to hell. Like nigga, they really? never said that. My church ain't never some, said some churches that. Have some said churches that. have said you being disobedient. Wait, 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 like you've heard like stories in the news where people have been sued or like whatever case may be because they had stopped paying tithes. What the? It was, no. it was like it was like it was like a news report where they were like this lady they they came for her. They was like you haven't paid your tithes in such much amount of time, and basically like they they ran a tab on her. Not paying time. <laughs> I mean, they do keep track because I had them send me. <laughs> I had one of the churches I used to go to. They send me paperwork at the end of the year, oh, so I could not, do my taxes. Yeah, just do your taxes. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But that, like, imagine track. if they kept track and were like, "Hey, wait a minute, die. You, you don't skip August and September. You, you didn't pay your tithes. You was back pay on tithes. You was back pay on them tithes. When you gonna I get caught up? Have a whole episode on next. I got a lot to say about tithes. That's what I'm saying. Like the whole the whole idea of churches is like but it's so they many do different try layers. To scare you to not come. Thank y'all for coming, y'all. Yeah. Yes. Oh no, I don't like when the pastor be like, if you feeling down and depressed and you feel like you are gonna kill yourself or you slept with your brother' wife, come to the front. So I That's can pray the devil. For you. Yeah. So I can pray for you. The rest of y'all, I'm gonna pray for these people up here, but I ain't gonna pray for y'all. I'm gonna, give them, a, I'm gonna give them a special prayer. I, mean, that, yeah. I, I don't like that because I feel like I don't like to really be close to people. But you ain't gonna pray for me. I ain't gonna walk well, down there. Pray for this whole building. Well, and getting back to like when we, like I said, the whole movie, the Come Sunday movie and stuff. Like you seen that where he I basically see. said that, hey, you know, I got, I, I, God came to talk to me. This is how I feel. This is how I want to have this discussion. Mm-hmm. All they cared about was we finna lose money. We finna the lose black, members. The white people about to leave. The, the white, white people leaving. White, white people folks leaving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black folks are looking down. Like, yeah, and that showed you that's real. I you know, believe that's very real. The rare. realest thing I saw was when they went to the grocery store. Um, and and, and, and the, the lady from the church was like, she basically disowned them because of that. Like, yeah. y'all, I don't talk to y'all no said. more. And I'm going to pray for this demon in your house. Your demon. And, and the I'm lady like, was going to let her pray. I was like, you got yeah, me nah. messed up. I'm the wrong person. I was like, hey, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, that that was. But that she, was, made, she made the way from her. She was like, 
Yeah, she backed away. Yeah, she nice to me. Mm -hmm. I yeah, would have been like, nice. hey, nah, play. But she was a good first lady. Like that. She, no, nah, she's very submissive. He he married the right one because I would have been told his ass off. Why? You didn't give her. Basically, she didn't have no opinion. If you listen, That's true, she true. said he didn't want to get married. He really didn't want kids. He said in the beginning. I was like, uh, what yeah. the I mean, hell? You Why right. you? But you got to have that image as a pastor to have kids and have a wife. Right. It don't look right. For you to be forty something years old and got your flock of sheep out there, get a shepherd. But which, 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 which was the funny thing about it because, like, as the movie went on, mm -hmm. you could tell she she fell more fell more in love what, with the what? guy he was becoming because versus the guy he was. Because away from that. Yeah, you, got, like, you start getting real. Yeah. yeah. You start seeing the real him and not that, not the persona that he. I mean, because and I feel that way a lot about a lot of mega and like I said, mega churches is a whole other episode. I feel that way about a lot of mega churches. Well, like, like, like I tell you, the mega churches it's, it's a mirror of society because everybody there's a lot of people that but it makes like you feel to build, so good. Like to build a persona there. and stuff like that. Mega churches make you feel good. I ain't gonna lie. Lakewood, boy, it's it's a spirit in there make you I'm not saying it's right. They ain't talking about no worldly stuff. You no. wanna make it feel good. I know it and that, I like like I said, I like higher dimension. For one, because I like Pastor Jay, he's a good teacher. Like he he does I read well that book, teaching. him and his wife. Yeah, they he does he's very very, ah, very well versed. Mm -hmm. And he does well speaking and everything. Like his his word is good. But also it's like it's like a concert when you walk in there because it's all dark. Yeah. You got lasers they got and the stuff. Smoke, yeah, smoke coming smoke. out. And I'm like, yo, we got like the step to a concert. But I like the lighthouse, I ain't gonna lie. But like I said in the movie, I felt like he had the mega church <laughs> persona. My partner said that if I wanted the mega church in Dallas, he said we was at church, but he's Catholic, mm -hmm. and he was like, yeah, we was at church, whatever. Yeah, he's like, been, he's, he's like, I feel like I was at a Rockets game. Yeah, never been to Yeah, I mean, my my yeah. sister didn't used to go to Park Hill. Yeah, he was like, he was like, man, he's I'm just in the church. That's people dance like do 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 do. He about to say, yeah. It goes down. It goes down. You know what I don't like is people taking your picture. Like, and I used to go to church like real early in the morning at eight. Everybody used to that stream. They'd be like, Ash, we always see you crying on the streaming film. Because yeah. we got to put your feelings on there. We got we to gotta, we gotta sell the First church. First of all, I'm crying because I'm happy. But we got to sell the church. But yeah, that's it's really messed up, and I don't like that. Well, my and then you taking pictures of me while I'm praying, and I, I really well, feel like you invading my my spiritual. I'll never forget this. Like, I watched the, uh, my grandfather, like I said, we was Catholic. But uh, when I was at the house one day, and he was watching like a TD Jakes mm -hmm. on TV, and he was doing like a sermon about talking about uh how we always set alarm clocks to uh, get ready for work, make sure we ain't on time for certain events, occasions, whatever, and we need to set our, our alarm for life, like for God and stuff like that. We need to wake up to pray. Yeah, to pray and everything yeah. like that. He was like, he just started screaming like, "Wake up!" He's like, and then people coming down. Like put money in the basket and stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm just looking, and I'm just like, this shit is crazy because you had people they had that woman in the whole no limit gear, she had a whole camouflage. Oh, that was old. Yeah. And they had like a little music playing, she started bankhead bouncing and stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> it's real. I, I was like, what the hell is going on? You ain't seen our it's, security. It's a show. Yeah, security is real up and up. Yeah. The people that actually secure, but they secure the pastor. They don't listen to nothing. They watch us. Oh yeah. So you do not go too close to him. I was like, damn. Yeah, no, they have security. They have all of that. They, that they, like I said, that, that like first, like mega church is a like your president. Secret service. Yeah, yeah mega church is a scary. whole another conversation because they are like it's a lot of layers to but mega I didn't church. But grow up like that. Nobody did. Like mega churches is a recent like well it's not recent, but like they they became the bigger past, the past 10, 20 years. But he's years. not a mega church, but he's making it so Right, I mean, but that you had to have the mega church mentality. Yeah, <laughs> like, because, and because, that's how that's how the dude on come uh, Carlton Pearson was. He had that mentality, and that's what his wife didn't like was yeah. that mega church mentality that he had gotten. Yeah, because y'all think about how things are now. It's like, yeah, we had to basically grip grip everybody to come in to the church to be there. Now I don't have to do it anymore. I can I can have all these followers come in. Plus, I can reach you on streaming. Yeah, yeah. I can reach you on our websites. I can do certain events, whatever the case may be, and stuff like that. To, to reach all these masses of people, True. like the church, the church has in principle, it has a purpose, but for for worship, for service, whatever. But it has been misconstrued over the years to be this is something we can funnel people's beliefs because all you all you gotta do is give somebody a belief and a hope, and you can. It's, church is like pimping sometimes. Oh, you know, yeah. people, people don't want to hear that, but it's like you know, saying pimping it because we're playing on your beliefs, your hopes, and your dreams. I ain't gonna say uh, you told me that. A pastor did tell me. Um, Basically, how they get people to put in money. I was like, "What?" Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's about playing the game. game. 
Yeah. You say that though. Sometimes, like, sometimes, wow. sometimes it uh, uh, it could be a pastor or a pimp. They both tell you to take to the top of Yeah, I just, yeah, no. Nah, but like overall, <laughs> just the whole thing is that it, it, it's the church is built on this, and especially like black churches, whether they be Catholic, Baptist, non denominational, they they're built on this fire and brimstone idea. So that like if you take away the idea that people are going to hell, they're like, well, what's the point of going to church? Like, why are we even here now? And so people don't like that. And so that's why, like, the church was getting mad at him. That's why, like, everybody's back now. And even, like, when I have, I've had this conversation with other people, like, the conversation has been, like, I mean, you can't say stuff like that. I mean, like, if if that's the case, then what are we doing in church? I mean, you don't want to question that? That's what? Question the fact that like, because like people people are afraid to question the idea that the whole reason we're in church is because we trying to avoid going to hell. They're like, well, what if we not going to hell? Because people like, well, say you're here to serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. You're here to serve the Lord on Sunday. But right. what about the rest of those days that I'm out here ratcheting it and, up? And, it, and then be the same <laughs> people that would tell you about you what you're supposed to be doing on Sunday and how you're supposed to be avoiding hell on Sundays. Yeah. They be sinning Monday through Saturday. And then a little bit on Sunday afternoon for Sunday fun day. You know what I'm saying? Like they turn up a little bit after church. That's how we That's how I mean I still kinda do that. Like I still won't play anything with gospel for like a certain time. It depends. On Sundays. I stop if it's positive. No, I stop. I ain't gonna lie, I'm playing with a woman. I play for nine. This Sunday. Yeah, no, I try not to. I, and I mean, I think it's just because I play, I play gospel a lot on weekday. I play what I want when I feel it. But like, it's kind of like, like my mama taught me when we were younger. She was like, everybody has respect for the church at some yeah. at some level because they grew up in it. Because yeah. she was like, even like back in the day, like when you see like crackheads and stuff or, or like you know druggies that were around the church, like people. She said people used to like go at least go across the street. Like, if they were passing by a church and they were smoking or drinking, like, they would see a church and they'd be like, oh, shit, let me go ahead and cross the street and cross over there. Like, they wouldn't want to, they wouldn't want to uh, disgrace that land where the mm-hmm. church is. So, like, the even alcoholics that never went into church no more, like, they grew up in the church, but, you know, they they going to go across the street and go get a drink and, you know, stay away from the church grounds. We didn't grow up. But whatever. Like <laughs> I was just about to say, hold on. I was just about to say, hold on. Wait, 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 Mm-hmm. We've been drinking. No, I said this is a long time ago. I'm not talking about us growing yeah. up. I'm talking about like my mama said um, when she Catholics, was growing up. Catholics, we drink in the church, out the church. We bring in bottles, baby. Yeah, no, I'm not Catholic. Yeah, they bring a bottle. With a Zyrocoat on the ground. Mr. Grimm. What's about? Right, talking so, about Mr. Green. He gonna come in that lit. Mr. Every Mr. day Mr. he lit. Mr. Green that came into the church lit. in his boxes. <laughs> Mr. Everybody Green. Mr. Green. And he let him in. They was like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what you got on. You come in to praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, man. Mr. Green, real nigga, man. He is. <laughs> now we drink but, wine. Yeah. So when, anyway, the, the he, whole when you come to church in the white beard and your boxes and some cowboy boots, you real. real. Oh, yeah, he real. But the whole point is that, like, I don't know. I think everybody should just kind of explore their beliefs a little bit more, and not not settle with, oh, this is what I've been taught, and this is what I know, so this is just what we gonna roll and with. And just respect people's beliefs. Respect them. That's it. I don't and let I'm people, wrong with yeah, it. let people live their life like they want to live it. It's but fine. people really think you're going to hell if you don't go to church on Sunday. Yeah, they do. I hear that all the time. It, it, what's it? I mean, I'm bad with scripture, so I ain't going to try to uh, quote them exactly. But there's a scripture that says something about blessed the communion of saints or something like that. And like people always talk about people getting together. That sounds uh, about right. About one, uh, two or three are gathered together. There, I will be also. Right. Yeah. So, so I just like, gather together and watch the game. Right. Pray for the Rockets. So yeah. pray, pray, pray while y'all are watching the game. <laughs> so, so this will be a question then. That question that comes up now more than ever. Do you think it's something wrong with be uh Beyond? being being more spiritual than religious? I would say no. But my family <laughs> would say yes. <laughs> that that's what I was going. That's basically what I'm. That's what my answer is because um I think, I think that it's it's possible for you to be you know, spiritual and believe in God and, and believe that, you know, believe in being saved, all that kind of stuff, and not be like, I have to commit to these specific acts in order yes. to be uh, saved. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, yes, you need to learn, you need to be, you know, know God and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, people will tell you that that's, that's going to be the wrong way to go because they'll tell you that you're being lukewarm. Like, you're, you're, you're committing to some things, but not committing all the way. But are they committing all the way just because you're... Christian. I don't know if they are. And you go to church every Sunday, but last night we was, you know, lit in the section. Yeah. Getting toe up and you went home with Becky with the good hair. And now you back in church 
the choir director that, that, trying to tell me I need I got one foot in, one foot out. You do too. And, and that's that's and that's why I say like it's an argument that would just keep going because me personally, I believe that you should all your walk is your walk. Mm-hmm. Whatever whatever you gotta do to stay in one accord with God, if, if you slip and you stumble, I mean that's you. I mean it just I mean it happens. I don't. I don't think you should judge people, and that's what I. I want everybody to try to get away from mm. is like judging yeah, people, because yeah. then they'd be like, "Hey, I seen so and so doing this and this and, and I, but nigga, like, but what are you just, doing? Y'all just judged me when I walked through the door and said I had mustard pants on. You got mustard pants, I, I, man. I like, y'all see these the, the John mustard, <laughs> Rachel Paul she got on. See what I'm saying? She doing a fool. Y'all just judged me when I walked. Hey, in. did we say anything was bad about it? I don't like what you said about I like, the Rachel Paul. I like, I, I like your, little, your little blue jean mustard combo. What else? Your you know mustard what pants match your highlights. Oh, yeah. Match your highlights. Yeah, it's like you match. You coordinate. You gotta coordinate. <laughs> you gotta coordinate. <laughs> you gotta coordinate. Anyway, y'all but yeah, folks. So, that, that might hurt my feelings. Either way, I, would, I think everybody should <sighs> walk their own walk, and I hope that nobody goes to hell. I hope that every, I hope that the I Lord is merciful, either, even and though he I'm keeps like, keeps granting us grace. Right. Amen. His grace Amen. is sufficient, as they say. Yeah, that's the whole point about like I say being spiritual and versus religious, whatever. Yeah. I don't. Have to uh, subscribe to a certain religious base, whatever. I believe in a high power. I believe in God's love. So, and I, I and so. I do want to have a a, a a whole other podcast about that. Like, you gonna have a church podcast in general because this yeah. was more about. I, I just wanted to touch on the hell thing. And but, if you do know somebody that could sit down and talk with us, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I want to talk about this. Yeah. Like, I want to talk about the church. Because like, I took I took some time away from. It. I haven't been going to church lately, and I actually feel better. Oh wow! <laughs> but I've prayed and I've been. Praying about it. Well, but this is my thing. Like I said, before we switch up, a lot of people have done that. I've done that too. Like stepped away a little bit. Yeah. It's not to say that I never will go back. Because like I said, I do feel good sometimes when I go back. I just feel like in today's age, the church has become more commercialized. It is, y'all. The, oh, yeah. the cameras and stuff is giving me anxiety. So, so it's like, like it's you like, taking I'm, a picture of me while I'm yeah, praying. Yeah, I'm saying you, you, you there to hear the word, but you you seen all the theatrics. Yes. And stuff. Right. And mm-hmm. like the late it's. To, like, I remember when I used to go to the church and I could sit anywhere and nobody knew me. I'm good. But now it's like, oh, where you been? You ain't going to sit with us? I'm like, man, I can't listen because you about to talk and hit me every five seconds when he say something. But yeah, so like I, I I think we need to get somebody on so we can just have a full on conversation about just the church in general. Because it's a lot of stuff that we could touch on about the church. But um, for, for this episode, all I want to say is that, you know, hopefully everybody is continuing their own walk, their own personal walk, and I don't think you should try to judge anybody else's walk because you don't know who's going to hell and who not. Not really. You can say what you think, but it's it's not, there's no real basis. There's no definitive answer, but until like, until you're in that position yourself. Yeah. So you'll never really know. So don't judge anybody. All right. That's easy said and done. It is. You know I'm not here judging folks. No, I'm somebody, but in in that instance, where you say you you judge what somebody is doing, what the case may be. But tell somebody oh, they going to hell, blah blah. Yeah, I'm I don't know. Don't say somebody it. went to hell. No, but I'm just saying we don't. Exactly. We don't know. You can say you think somebody going to hell, but you don't know. He went. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's a lot of people that go to church every fucking every Sunday, and mm. they could be going to hell. Be too. going to hell. True. So, but I'm any, going to heaven. We're gonna skip right to the end because we over an hour already. So they went an hour. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna skip straight to the Wusa segment today. We had some other stuff to talk about in line about segment, but. Uh, we're well, gonna go to school. I'm sorry, what are we gonna talk about? Uh, just, just uh, like Kanye ranting on Twitter. Kanye ranting. J. Cole album. J. Cole's album. Oh. Just J. Cole. Yeah. Jermaine. Yeah. Cole. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mr. Nice Watch. Yes. Young Simba. Yes. Okay. Young Simba. Yeah. I mean, his, his album was a good, one, but. It's all right. It ain't enough for me to work out through. Yeah, but I'm not even going to put that transition in here. So, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> so we're going to move right on to the Wusa. side segment. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that transition. Um, so anyway, for the Wu side segment. Wusa. 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 Um, basically, I wanted to touch some more on, because I, I started last week talking about rational emotive behavioral therapy. And so we want to talk about just kind of controlling your thoughts, controlling your emotions and being rational. And I know this is, oh, I was about to say something, man. I, I'm not going to say it. Don't do say, it. I was going to say it's for the women out there. Oh, go but, ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Because I know, Ashley, y'all be, y'all be thinking irrational sometimes. I did something, you know. Very irrational. Yeah, I forgot. I ain't gonna bring it up on my yeah, weekend. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you good. But I did. I did some. I wrote. Okay, a so I'm gonna give you a strategy. This All is your right. strategy for today. We we call this the ABC technique. Okay. Okay. 
ABC is a way that you handle your thoughts whenever, you know, bad things come to your mind that are irrational. So the A for this strategy is A stands for the activating event. So there's something that happens that puts a thought in your head. All right. B stands for your belief. And this is your irrational belief. And then C is the consequence, what you do with your irrational belief. So let's say, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, so an activating event. I'll uh, give you one. What? Um, don't give me nothing personal because now I don't want you to be. Oh, never mind. I don't want don't you to feel like. Don't give me something. Don't you give me something. <laughs> All right, it's so let, let's say let's say somebody um let's say somebody don't call you all day like somebody you've been talking to and y'all are supposed to be you know growing and growing and glowing together but then they don't talk to you all day like they don't even bother contacting you at all no text no call no nothing somebody That's, owe you money mm, there we go that too but then <laughs> I, I knew that again. <laughs> yeah so because I was like how I somebody <laughs> somebody owes you money let's say it's like that all right. somebody owe you money. And you see them out, like at a club somewhere. Or something. Mm. That's your activating event. Your irrational belief is my first thoughts. What's your first thought going to be? Yeah, you owe me some money. So, because what they, they doing though? What they, they buying doing drinks? There. Yeah, they drinking everything. They oh, the you owe me money. They, they, they enjoying themselves. Okay, yeah. so, so, I'm, so so you got my money. Your first belief is that they out there spending money when they ain't paying you back. Right. Yeah. So your consequence for that, what your action is, go the consequence there, is you going to go get uh, into it, get hated. I'm, I'm For real what I'm going to do? Yeah. To be honest, I would not, if that, that's my friend, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to even say nothing. I'm going I'm to make sure they see me. So you just you gonna leave it like that? Money? Just... What? We gotta use something else because I'm. Let, I'm, yeah, we just, we, I'm, I'm gonna use an example that don't have to do with Ashley because Ashley don't count for anything that I yeah. ever do. So but, let, let's but go back I, to my original okay, example. Your original. My original example I, is somebody ain't call you all day. Y'all yeah. supposed to be in a relationship. They ain't talk to you all day long. Your rational belief is, oh, this nigga out here cheating. cheating yeah. He he got somebody else oh, he talking girlfriend? to. Yeah, like it's somebody else he talking to. What what the hell he doing with all his time? He ain't talking to me all day in the whole day. I said this don't yeah, have to do with you. Right. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that's the irrational belief. So your activating event is there's no phone call, no communication. So you take your that belief, nigga some rant stuff and be like, oh, exactly. You don't want to first you text, hey, how's it going? He don't text. Then you be like, oh, no response. Then you say, well, since you want to act like that, be by yourself. Good night, and it's only like three p.m. Yeah, that that's exactly that's exactly the example. I'm I'm talking about. I, didn't, I did that shit the other day, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, but, you're not, you're like, it's four o'clock. I know. That, that's that, exactly what I'm talking if about. If he a good dude, if, well, not a good dude. If he's a, if he really like you, he gonna text you back. He gonna call you. Fuck that text. He gonna call you. Okay, but okay, but right? for this example, <laughs> for this example, he may not. Okay, because I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so there's an activating event. He didn't call or text all day. Hold on, girl. Oh. God damn. <laughs> So there's an activated event, <laughs> and then there's a belief, and then there's a consequence. You texting him and stuff, and you know charging him up because he didn't respond to you. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he lost his phone at work. Yeah. It got broken. He couldn't get another one until the next day. And so now you looking dumb because you you acted and reacted no. before you had time. No, let me tell you why he's dumb. He, he, he's called you, but you didn't recognize the number. You thought it's collector. No, fuck that. I picked up the phone. Let me tell you why I ain't dumb. Why? Because I'm always right. Why the fuck your phone broke in the first place? Anyway, anyway. so we, we leave <laughs> Ashley out of this again. You know what? It's very irrational. Very <laughs> irrational, <laughs> Ashley. You think you think I believe this shit? Like you really was gonna call me. He was got that phone shit. I'm just like, Alright, so anyway. So Activate an event he didn't call. The Irrational belief up. is he he cheating and he not he not calling me for a reason, blah, blah, blah. Consequence is you start charging this nigga up, getting all pissed off and the mad at the nigga. Thing. You ready, you ready to break up with this nigga next time you see him, whatever. And then what what we have to do is what this technique is for is for taking that activating event okay. and stopping once you get to the irrational belief. So and what what's you do is you break off. The, the irrational belief one? is that he he's cheating. The second one is the cheat? Yeah. Okay, so what do I do? I, so, so what you do is, okay, so me. so A, B, C, activate an event. Okay, he not calling. Belief, consequence. That's the three things you did. Okay, I'm going to say. So then, hold on. So then, there's going to be a D. The D is for dispute. D is for dispute, and it goes right in the same place as B. So you dispute your irrational belief. So you're like, okay, well, maybe he's not. 
So think you this is all going on in your head. Oh, so I'm still So doing. so you when you find out he hasn't texted you all day, you he hasn't talked to you, mm -hmm. you have to think to yourself, okay, he cheating. And then you're like, wait a minute. Let me think about it. Let me be rational. There's a good possibility that he's still at work. He may have to work late. Something, Something might have happened. happened. He had a car accident. There's a whole lot of things. Good. And so what the E is, because this goes from A to E, the E is that you have an effective new thought. So your effective new thought is he'll contact me when he gets a chance. So this, this is how you combat irrational beliefs. Sorry, Dr. J. No bitch is going to fall for that. <laughs> That's why, all, that's why all them bitches need counseling. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm telling y'all to go see a therapist. Ain't nobody got, I am. Ain't nobody uh, yeah. got nobody. Y'all need I gotta, it. I ain't going to skip yeah. the first of all. That's not how the alphabet go any damn way. <laughs> you just going to go from A to D. No, nigga. Well, because B and C is how you get fucked up. And I have. Because you, you, you went from I, A You know D, I've done this C. a lot, right? Like, I, I do that a lot. What? React? Yeah, for sure. Like Everybody do. does. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It's not centralized. And I don't know that I react. It's so common now that I just be like, oh, I throw a rant text over there in a minute and be like, good night. Yeah. Uh, like I'm done talk. Oh, we don't need to talk about this no more. I'm done. I don't even say good night. We don't need to talk about this no more. And I, as long as I got the last word, I won. We all kind of. We all kind of reactionary. Everybody has a rea has something that pushes but, their buttons. But only certain people I do that to. The rest of the people I don't care. Yeah, then this, this really these kind of techniques are only for people that you really care about wow. because the people that you don't care about, you're not fixing to go through that much trouble for anyway. I need to. I, it's just hard to skip from, oh, something may happen. What are you thinking? I think it's because of your past. It's because That's of my exactly past that why. I really think that. Irrational beliefs are built off of what you've already experienced or yeah. what you've seen happen to other people. Because and you like, just know some of these whole ass niggas y'all keep messing with. Yeah, so like you, your first thought is always gonna be, well, I mean, this is what could be happening. And I know how niggas are, so that's probably what's going on. Like you never gonna sit back and say, well, wait a minute, I know this dude. Like yeah. I'm not gonna think about this one in particular. Or if if y'all have that type of relationship, like hey, he'll call me when he's ready. Or like I'm just. That's a rational thought though, and it just doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah, that that that's, that's you. That's you calming yourself down to be like, oh. Not thinking the most extreme things going on. Do y'all think like that? Y'all think men do too. Y'all do? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's what I'm saying. Everybody has this problem. You know, okay. So I have I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a guy told me that I go to sleep too early. Yeah. He was like, what are we going to do about that? Because we can never communicate. And I told him I'm an adult. Nigga, I got to get up here, folks. You know what? Yeah, no, that's just that's I don't know that's a that, 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 that's no situation for, for being irrational because it's yeah why she going to sleep she's going to sleep with her dick. You just like, uh, but I could have swore he told me that he don't want no girlfriend he don't want to so you ain't taking away from my damn sleep. But see, I think I think that that that's just that's that issue that need to be worked out. But I think for for what we're talking about the ABC thing, whatever, mm. I think they could be flipped to be like if a dude was going to bed early all the time, he's like, hey, I gotta go to work, whatever. I think a lot of women would be like, well, what are you going to sleep for? it? Why he don't talk to me late yeah, at night? Is, ma is he me, married? Do you not know he <laughs> told me I think you got somebody? Like, you never. Well, okay, that's the, that's, 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 that's the irrational thought. That's, that's the irrational thought. Yeah, irrational and thought. when I told him, like, I get up at four, like, nigga, you could take, like, you have called me when I'm coming back from the gym, and I'm talking to you because I'm coming back from the gym, but I go to sleep early. Mm -hmm. I got shit to do. I don't say shit because you got two jobs and a kid. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? It, everybody and like you said, everybody goes through it. It's not just women. I just use women because that was funny. But <laughs> it, I think everybody goes through it. Like like you said, if if you going to bed early, he like and he's telling you, hey, who who you talking to? And, and, I didn't think he was going to say that. He was like, 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 I think you stayed with somebody. Yeah, I mean, like, like you, you stayed with somebody. Yeah. I was like, no, but you ain't coming to my house to check. Like what the no, yeah. nigga. And, and that and he he needs to apply this because he's like he needs to change that irrational thought and be like, okay, wait a minute. She may actually be going to sleep because she got to go work out yes, in the morning. I get up. Yeah, I don't say nothing cause, about his cause, schedule. Because male or female, like anybody that's in the world we stay we in now, everybody thinks like you're going to bed early or you're not talking. They'd be like, well, I want to talk to them during the daytime. What are they doing at night? Are they staying mm -hmm. with somebody or this and that? This is a crazy world. I'm and like, damn. And that's why everybody needs to say, seek counseling, seek a therapist. My brother, said, my brother told me today why he stopped seeing a counselor. Why? Because they have it's a limit. He said by the oh, time yeah, no, you do. he said yeah. by the time he got comfortable with talking, they were like, Okay, time is up. And he felt some type of way like nigga. Well that's I just got like and I feel because him, I can see him doing that. Cause they were like, Do you want to schedule something else? He said no. 
but I think he should see he, he should, but, the, and that's the other thing, like, I know when I do counseling, I mean, but the, the people I work for and, and work with, it's usually like, we have a 45-minute session. That, mm-hmm. That's your session. Your, yeah. your session's going to be 45 minutes. We have a way to bill you if we go over. Like, if I do an hour, I'm going to bill you for an hour because mm-hmm. it's a different price. Or if I if I end up going for an hour and a half, that's two sessions. I'm billing you for two sessions. So like if I'm if I'm charging 150 a set an hour or 150 a session, which is you know pretty much a going price price when they charge the insurance. 150 dollar. I mean for like oh. insurance and stuff. Yeah. Not not My for a person. I would I would tell people like. You know, your copay is is basically what I would charge somebody for this kind of Yeah, I would pay my copay. Like, you know, maybe like fifty dollars a session. I paid yeah. about thirty, forty. Yeah, you know, say fifty dollars a session is about normal if you just paying out of pocket. If they being nice and you paying out of pocket. I mean, but you could pay upwards of a hundred, hundred fifty. Y'all ain't trying to help nobody. Y'all trying to break me broke. The, to provide this, a service. Uh, providing a service. I, I had to pay. I got to pay back student loans, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how I'm going to chop. Well, I got bills too. And I need to make sure I don't lose my goddamn job. All right. Well, get it done in 45 minutes, baby. No, <laughs> man, that's what I'm saying. That's some bullshit. Counsel this bullshit yeah. down to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, no. Like, but that's why we kind of try to, like, there, there's this thing called, um, I forgot the term. It's like basically it's like accelerated counseling where you try to do everything in the short term Mm -hmm. because you know that people have limited, for one thing, you have limited time. You have about 45 minutes a session. On top of that, if they're going through their insurance, like, or or like let's say it's employee assistance program, and so it's employee assistance program usually gives you three sessions. You got three sessions for free. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so I got to get some change in your life and get you to understand some things within three 45 minute sessions. And so, like, most counselors, most therapists are going to try to get you to understand whatever their therapeutic practice is, whatever the technique is. They're going to try to get you to understand it as fast as possible. I know people want to vent, and that's cool, and that's what we're there for. But, like, there is still going to be a time limit. That's like, you can't just pop up at the doctor's office every time you get a cut on your finger and be like, hey, bro. I need to. I need to look at this. I need to talk. Yes, you, yeah. you can, you can. Yeah. and you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for you every time. Gonna, you ain't gonna pay that price you started. I, with. I, I oh, went. Yeah. Let me tell you this. I went to the hospital like last year. Mm-hmm. I just got another bill from a physician that saw me for like less than five minutes. She just walked in the room and said, "How's your pain level?" I'm like, "Shit, it's at like a nine. She said, oh, "Okay, well, I don't really know what's wrong with you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put you on some pain meds, and I think you'll be all right." Less than five minutes. I just got a bill from her for two thousand dollars. What the. It was an emergency room. It was an emergency room at yeah, night. That's why. And she she charged two thousand dollars for me to walk in there for five minutes. Mm-hmm. Your insurance don't pay. No the insurance pay. didn't pay enough of it. I mean, oh, so I'm not paying the full two thousand, yeah. but still, like, I'm just, just looking at the it, bill. Yeah. Like, damn, you charged two thousand dollars to walk in the Man, room. Man, how can you come down to Ashley Clinic? So, like, that's what I'm saying about therapy. Therapy is good for you, and it's not as expensive as you think because when you go to the doctor, you're paying a whole lot more, mm-hmm. and they ain't doing shit okay. for you, but handing you a prescription. You know, you ain't Medi- Medi- medicate the situation. We at least trying to work with you. Y'all trying to medicate too? No, not if not if you not unless you're seeing a, a clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist. Yeah, they the only ones that's gonna give you medication. The only ones that prescribe. One. That we don't. They, we, I, I can't prescribe medication. I didn't. I liked my session, but I don't open up that fast anyway. So it's. And it, it, for me, it takes a couple yeah. sessions before I he put when I too. when I get people to open up to me. I yeah. have to get them to open. We up were and talking feel about these. Like by the time I got comfortable. It was a time up. I was like, you must want to talk for a long time. But he, he liked to talk. But yeah, and, and you time kind of flies when you get in those yeah. sessions. Yeah. And so like when you start talking, it takes a while for people to start talking. And so when they finally started, like you have a good conversation going. I mean, I still got to see another client after you. So, yeah. I mean, I can't just, yeah. we can't just chop it up for three hours for free. <laughs> like my nigga, I got appointments. <laughs> like yeah. I got bills to pay. So, and my time is my money. So, like, this 45-minute session is all you get for right now, but we can schedule again for next week, or I have an opening in a couple of days, and you can come back and talk to me for another 45 minutes. But I'm, but next time you come, I guarantee you I'm going to be ready, and I'm going to have more strategies for you because of what you told me today. And so that's why, like, opening up like that is good. Man. Yeah, and then that happens, too. You yeah. got to find the right therapist for you. I had an older white man. He was cool. Hmm. I like, he talked first, though. I was like, that's what's up. Tell me about his life. But yeah, so keep keep an eye out for that. If you're listening and you need some more techniques for for combating your irrational thought, just look up the ABC method in REBT. ABC, REBT, because it's the ABC method of rational emotive behavioral therapy. All right. You make sure um, you use that. Yeah. Make sure you use it. it. 
Change your mindset. Don't go off your first reaction. Anyway, so that's about it. Anybody got any businesses to shout out? Oh, yeah, no. You know, I, I want to do a shout out to, um, it's not a business shout out. I'm just going to make this, we're going to go back to like regular shout outs. But I want to shout out to people in the, um, the What's the Remedy group me. What's so if you're not in the, if you're not in the What's the Remedy group me, just shoot us I'm a message sorry, or something. I'm not group me. I just can't keep up with y'all. <laughs> yeah. If you're not in there, just shoot me a message and we'll put you in. Because it's, it's, it's a really good conversation. We had a good conversation on love languages last week. Like after the episode came out, people were discussing things. We even got into discussions about cuddling. And I think we're going to have an episode one, I one week on cuddling. I seen that. We talked about cuddling. Yeah. I like to just put my leg on somebody. That's it. Like, I mean, everybody different, man. Don't don't touch me. But yeah, so <laughs> so like I, I just want to shout out everybody in there. I got you know a few different people, like uh, the like uh, one of my homegirls, Danetta and Chop, and a couple other people, Cecil. Like everybody kind of contributes different things to the conversation. And I appreciate that because I I think that's what this is all about. That's what this podcast is for, is so that we can get conversations started and we can make some you know uncomfortable situations so that people can get everything out that they need to get out. Um, but as far as any other shout outs, uh, shout out to above the bar podcast. I was saying they sent a message the other day, like the podcast. So giving a shout out to them. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, two, 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 yeah. Two young ladies. They, uh, are lawyers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do a podcast and each week they uh, have a conversation on different kind of legal issue that's going on in the world. I might need them. And they have alcohol. Yeah. And they have alcohol that you gotta make drinks to. <laughs> The what? They teach you how to make drinks too. They, they, know, they teach you how to make drinks? Yeah, they, they do yeah. videos. Y'all might like that. I love it. I love people. But I might need yeah. loyal. Yeah, but now if I check their stuff out, whatever, and they do a really good yeah. job. Awesome. Yeah. So that's above the bar podcast. Also, we got a message from uh, Josh with uh, More About Something Else podcast. He's based out of Houston too. So if y'all have a chance, you want something else to listen to, go ahead and give him a look out in the, in the same podcast after you listen to this song. So uh, anything else before we get out of here, anybody? Man, y'all just need to unplug sometimes. That's all I'm needing. Unplug. Yeah. Take five, ten minutes. Meditate. Meditate. Meditate, Meditate libations. Keep yourself out of hell, man. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I bet not see. Catch me in hell. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> you already, hey, you already said you just had a whole phase. I'm I'm standing kind of clear of you already. I'm just, no, I didn't say that. I want to say what well, you said that. Did I say Jesus at all phase? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I said he, I didn't say that. I didn't say whole phase. You said. We don't know what. In his 20s. You said everybody got a whole phase. Everybody, everybody got a whole phase. We don't know what he did in his 20s. I asked y'all a question. Y'all agree. <laughs> Either way. I, ho- I'm hopefully, sorry, Lord. I'll never say that. Hopefully, repent. hopefully gotta... nobody go to hell and we'll be all right. All right. This is what's going in my pocket. All right. Mama said you better be home. Uh-huh. One of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Yeah. They ain't doing nothing but wrong. Uh-huh. One of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Cause when the street lights on.